So what happens if you don't replace a missing tooth? Let's get into it. Yeah! So you just had a tooth taken out, it's a back tooth and it can't be seen by anyone. You probably don't have any issues with talking or chewing or anything like that. So you think to yourself, why would I bother replace it? But what actually happens in your mouth after you've had a tooth removed? After a few weeks, the socket is likely to have healed up, but over the course of the next few months, the bone that was where the tooth was will continue to heal. This can lead to bone resorption in the area and that can have effects on the neighbor tooth and they can start to tip into the space where that tooth was. Also, the tooth that was opposite that can start to come down in that space where the tooth was. Now, if you're missing one or two teeth and particularly if they're opposing teeth, then you're likely not gonna have any issues with chewing or eating or talking or anything like that. But if you start to lose more teeth, you might find it more difficult to start to chew or eat certain things, particularly if you've lost back teeth because those are the ones that help us chew. So if you have lost a tooth and you're thinking about replacing it to avoid any of those potential side effects, what can you do? The best place to start is to talk with your dentist and they can talk about any of the suitable options and what's best for you. But generally, there are three options that we have to replace missing teeth. The first option would be a partial denture and these are great if you're missing a lot of teeth because they can replace all the teeth with one appliance. However, if you're missing one or two teeth, then a partial denture may not be the best option for you. Partial dentures, while they can fill the gap, they can leave the other teeth more prone to getting tooth decay or gum disease, which can lead to more tooth loss in the future. A big disadvantage of a partial denture is that it has to be removed at nighttime for cleaning and cleaning your own teeth. The next option would be a dental bridge, which for a long time was the best option for replacing missing teeth. That's before we had dental implants. Bridges are fixed to teeth and do not need to be removed. However, the big disadvantage with bridges is that we have to prepare the teeth, which means that we could potentially be drilling on completely healthy teeth that otherwise would never have needed any treatment. Bridges are generally cheaper than a dental implant, which would be your next option. A dental implant is likely the best option if you're just looking to replace one tooth. It's a standalone crown that doesn't impact or impinge on any of the other teeth. Also, because an implant is in contact with the bone, it helps keep the bone there and it stops it from resorbing, which neither of the other two options do. Now, not everybody is suitable for an implant and this is definitely something that you have to talk with your dentist about. You'll need scans and lots of assessments to see if this is a good option for you. But sometimes if you have certain medical conditions, you may not be suitable for an implant either. So always best to discuss with your dentist what is the best option for you. With all that considered, should you consider replacing a tooth if it's been lost? As a dentist, I do think it is worthwhile replacing teeth. Losing teeth can start to have a domino effect on the other teeth and you can quite quickly start to lose other teeth as a result. If you are going to replace missing teeth, then likely a dental implant is gonna be your best option. But again, it's always best to talk with your dentist and what the best option is for you. Above all of that, prevention is better than the cure and you're much better to go and get your cleanings done regularly, get your checkups done regularly, make sure no issues are arising and it's much more affordable to look after your teeth than have to replace them.